and the QPR rang and asked if I'd go there. And they was in the, it was more of a roll of the dice thing for me, really, because it's a terrible position. He played 22 games, 21 points. And I said, oh, God. I, I had everything. <clears throat> but my, I put my head on the block because if it didn't work for me, yeah. Bottom half of the championship slash relegation. Like when we got there with third bottom. Or we could do well as on a, on a personal note and as a club, get them forward. It's win-win for everyone. I said, you boys move clubs, stay here, earn more money, et cetera, et cetera. Get the success of what's going on with when we get the, hopefully get the fans back in the stadium come, come what the summertime. <clears throat> so went there. They signed me, Stefan Johansson, Jordy DeVies, Sam Field. And we won 15 games out of 21. We missed out on the playoffs by, I think it was six points in the end. I think we we had four, I think we ended up with 63 points. And after 21 games, they'd only had 19 points. And by the, the following 25, we'd obviously had 65. I think we was in the second half of the season, yeah. we was like yeah. third. I think Norwich and Watford were where it was. But it was just a club that got the best out of people. And I think it just, after there being no fans in the stadium, it was exactly what QPR needed for the fans looking forward, coming back. They'd all watched the eye follow. They'd all watched, seen it everywhere and was like, can't wait to be back supporting yeah. our football club. Yeah. yeah. And like you say, it was a gamble because, mate, you're a proper legend at QPR and everyone Good obviously time. remembers you for there. So, you know, going back somewhere, obviously the expectations of you are huge. What does QPR mean to you as a club, uh, Charlie? Number one. Number one. Is that my club? Yeah. Do I support Q- uh, do I support QPR? I think it's more than that. I always look out for them. I want them to do really well. I think Marty's got him right in a good position at the moment. I'm glad he stayed. Much of rumours were going around in the summer that he might depart. I was delighted that he hasn't. Um, fantastic football club. The people there, the top, the like the supporters they get, the backbone of that, that club is is really good. I know they've been in a big <clears throat> transition now. New people coming in. That don't change the fact how myself, my wife, and my kids feel about the football club. 